What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode, another crappie slaying episode. Yes sir, that's right. You guys saw a couple videos ago I found this spot that was absolutely fire. Ended up catching a bunch of crappies, but I felt kind of nice that day, so I let all the crappies go. Today, mm, it's a bad day to be a crappie, let's just say that. I would like to attempt the Guggen Bait only crappie catch clean cook challenge, if that makes sense. Anyways, we're at my spot, and I, this video is gonna be sponsored by the Guggen Squad because I want to use only Guggen baits to catch these crappies today. I wanna show you that these baits are super versatile, and you can basically catch anything on them. So if you guys wanna check out any of the Guggen Squad stuff that I will be using today, or just anything in general that they sell, and check out the link down below. If you use my code MINDAC at checkout, you guys can save 15% off your order, whether it's a hat, a hoodie, Smond Optics, some baits, whatever it is, use Mindac and you can save some money. Looking absolutely beautiful out here today. As you can see, we got the all old town out with me today. If you want to check this out, I'll leave a link down below as well. I have her in spot lock right now, and this is just look at that. It's doing its own thing. It's just keeping me in place, and I can sit here and catch all these big old crappies. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into today's video. All right, so after doing this whole YouTube thing since uh, 2016, you, you think I'd figure out, like, you know, you gotta bring SD cards to record videos. Yeah, I forgot the GoPro SD card, so all I have is this camera again. Just a absolute botch. I must have been rushing this morning or something. Like, I, I don't even know, but my bad, guys. Well, this is the video you guys are gonna have to deal with today. Uh, if you wanna watch a different video where I slay crappies in this POV, uh, you can check out this thing right here and you can watch that. But for today, this is what you're gonna have to deal with. Now, I'm gonna get rigged up here. I got a little spinning rod here and we're gonna start out using the Saucy Swimmer. And then I may switch to a little crankbait and stuff like that. Um, you know, we're, we're just gonna get after it. We're gonna see what Guggen bait these fish want today. All right, so this is what we're gonna be starting off with today. I got a little eighth ounce jig head, as you can see right there. And this is actually a 3.3 inch Saucy Swimmer Gobi color. I cut it down, obviously, a lot because I wanna improve my hookup ratios. But that's what we're gonna be using to start off with today. And then, you know, if this doesn't work, I'm honestly thinking I'm gonna like maybe even cut this down a little more and use it on my slip bobber rod and uh, see how that goes. I don't know, I have some other plastics with me, Guggen baits, that we could maybe chop up and use. But for right now, I'm gonna see if the old Saucy Swimmer works. Ah, come on, baby. Come on, we're just gonna cast her out there and give her a nice slow retrieve. A little pop maybe, a little pop here and there. Everybody likes a good pop. Oh, there we go, there's a crappie. Let's go. Number uno of the day. I was basically vertical jigging right here, honestly. Got our first eater of the day, boys. Shoo! Gonna get our little stringer out here. I'm actually gonna bleed these fish today, if you guys don't know what that is. It's basically just cutting their, their gills right there so the meat is more fresh. And uh, yeah, that's good. I'm not gonna show this, but. There we go. There's one right there. Woo! Oh, he came off. See, this is a this is the problem when you're using a little bigger jig head for these these crappies. You, you're gonna lose a lot, and uh, that's the first one I lost today. I want to switch over to my my tiny tiny jig, but I just I really don't have anything to put on it. Um, we're gonna see if I can make do with what I have. This is this is a challenge, folks. I mean, it's not not a challenge if that makes sense to you, but. First one that we lost today, but we got another one on here. Come on, please don't come off. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Don't jump. Don't jump. Please don't jump. Come on. What do we got? Ooh, nice little crappie. Yes, sir. There we go. Numero dos of the day. There we go. I should have three, but I have two. It's all right. The Saucy Swimmer, it's getting it done. Guggen Baits, check it out. Link in the bio. You can use it for walleye, bass, and crappies, I guess. Look at that. Alrighty, what is that? Two crappies? Two crappies? Let's go see if we can get a third here. On the drop, boys. Oh my goodness. Wow. That, uh, this is starting to heat up a little bit. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a good one. Come on, come here. Oh, yep, yes, sir. I think we're on them, boys. I think we are getting on them. All right, getting back in there. We're at three, limit is 10, so I'm gonna get close to my limit today or probably hit my limit and uh, do a little fish fry with Lindsay. Lindsay is a big fish lady. And there's another one right there. Please don't lose them. Oh, come on, this feels feels pretty good. Ooh, yeah, another nice one. It's, it's always fun catching crappies like this. You know, I could probably smash them even more on a slip bobber, but when you can cast for them and go like every other cast catching nice crappies like that, it's hard to beat and hard to complain. The sausage swimmer just does it all, man. So a lot of you may be wondering like, what am I fishing today? What did I find? So what, initially in the last video, I rolled up, I was using my, I was just trolling along and using my Mond optics to see inside the water. I pulled up on basically a, a weed bed. So there's like a bunch of sand and then randomly just a giant weed bed. And this weed bed kind of just went for, I don't know, probably a good 20 yards, a good bead bed, 20 yards. I decided just to kind of cast on the edge of the weed line. So that's what I'm working with right now. I'm just casting on the edge of it, working my bait super, super carefully along there. And I mean, they're in there too, but it, it doesn't really matter. It seems like if you cast anywhere on the weed edge or in the weeds, I'm gonna get them. But I mean, the, these fish are probably sitting in about, eh, I wanna say, probably uh, 10 feet of water or so uh, yeah probably 10 feet of water and this guy right here oh yeah look at this one very aggressive very aggressive and I could probably honestly come out here and catch these fish however I want to uh, but today I decide you know let's cast the old saucy swimmer and see if we can get them but yeah if that's what you guys want to do make sure to go out and find some weed beds target some fish and don't be afraid to try new baits Ooh, right in the juice come on that was a prime cast. Yep. So much fun. These things fight so hard too. Goodness gracious. Yes, sir. Oh man, these are all perfect eaters too. Ow, it finned me. Ow, that's the worst. Mm. All right, I believe I need like four more, four or three more. I'll do a little countage here, but we're getting closer, folks. We're getting closer. I'm sorry if this is kind of boring for you, catching one crappie after another, but this bite is just, it's so good right now. Like, I'm having a lot of fun. I know it might not be fun for you guys to watch at home, watching me just go fish, 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 but this is just, un like, <sighs> this is unreal, man. Like, this, when you can find a bite like this, like, you take full advantage of it. I didn't keep fish last time, but I, damn i'm gonna keep some fish this time and this this is just a largey but still i mean i'm having a lot of fun oh she slammed that one mm. my goodness these all fight so well come here oh yeah that's a good one yes sir wow mm, so much fun find some shallow weeds folks Find some shallow weeds and you'll have a grand old time. Fall bite's starting to pick up here too. So, I mean, this is a great time to get out and start catching some fish. All right, last crappie, last cast. Here we go, calling it. I'm catching the very last crappie on this cast. Come on, baby. Come on, don't let me down. Don't bring me down. Uh, Y'all seen that TikTok or that song? That TikTok was supposed to be like a non-existent thing, but it's still a thing. Ooh, this might be a nice one to end the day. Come on. It's awesome when you can call shots like that. When you can call your own shots like that, you know it's been a good day on the water. Oh yeah. There we go. Last crappie to finish off my limit. Speechless. This spot is just absolute gas right now. I am going to be taking home all of these bad boys to fill up the freezer and you know have have just a nice crappy feast with these with my girlfriend and i could put more in the freezer for later when i want to eat them again but just an absolute amazing day using guggen bait only stuff stay tuned folks it's gonna get good Whew, 
Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a total of, I believe, like around two days or so, but we're back. And oh Lord, Jetson made another one. Check out that white, delicious looking, flaky crappie, mm-hmm. Believe it or not, this is only five crappies. I put the other five in the freezer right here for another time. So Lindsay and I are about to just get after it. I'm gonna do just a normal fryage. Um, fish just tastes so good fried and it just it's delicious i can't i cannot do it not justice by not cooking it in the grease you can't what i don't, I don't even know you can't. i think they understand what i'm saying anyways you can't yeah. do it justice unless you put it in the grease yes that's what i meant to say yeah. but I, I i think how i said it it made sense all right, so this is what we about to do. We got flour, we have eggs, and we have our breading, and then obviously the crappie. So what I like to do is I like to take some fish and dump it in a flour bag. Okay, once we got in the flour bag, we're just gonna shake it around, get a nice little coating, and you do this because you want your egg batter to stick nicely on the fish. A lot of people skip this step, but you, you can't skip it. It's very essential, because now, look at that. Delicious looking fish, as you can see, floured up. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of this inside of our egg. Now, please take note when I take this out on how well it's gonna stick to the fish. See how well the egg's on there? Mm-hmm, dangle it off that, and then we're gonna dump it inside here. And this is just some like regular breading, I'm not even sure what type it is. I'm gonna give a little, a little bit of that. Oh yeah, yes sir. There's one. Now, I'm gonna do the rest of this, and I'll see you guys once we throw them in the grease. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the oil is a little bit too hot, so um, I might die here. But this is all <laughs> breaded and ready to go. Oh, looking delicious. I mean, if that doesn't make your pants a little bit more tight, then something's wrong with y'all. That wasn't Not that bad. bad. Oh, we're chilling. We're chilling. We were scared because I tested it with a little dribble of water, yep. just like some water on my fingers, and I dribbled it in there, and it went crazy and like splattered everywhere. So we were sketched that I, he was gonna burn was, the crap out of his arm. I was scared. <laughs> so we got a couple in there right now. We're just gonna let that sizzle in there like that. And basically, how I like to cook my fish, you know, it depends how hot your oil is. But, and if you had a, an actual fryer, which I said I was gonna get one, but I don't have one. When you throw them in there, they float to the top and, it, and you know they're done that way. This way, you just gotta, you gotta cook with your heart, man. All right, you gotta come out here and put all of your effort in there. My heart's gonna tell me when these are done. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave these in for maybe four minutes. That's even a little bit high. Fish does not take that long to cook. We're gonna give a little flippage and then we're gonna put the rest of these in there and I'll see you guys once these are all golden and crispy. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's how you fry fish. And these are ready to eat. You could just start popping them in your mouth. But Lindsay gave him the idea of making a little crappie sandwich. So right here, I have two pieces of bread. These are like wheat bread or something like that. And I put a little bit of tartar sauce on each side. Put down a pepper jack cheese. No, no, not pepper jack, Kobe Jack. And we got some tomatoes too. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab some fish right here. And we're gonna position these accordingly. Oh my. I'm gonna put a little bit of tomatoes on top of them. If I had lettuce, I'd put lettuce on there, but we don't got that right now. Close it on up. Oh yeah. And then right there, you got yourself a nice little crappie sandwich. And I eat these all the time, super easy to make. And I mean, it's it's just so delicious. You guys gotta do this, you gotta do it. Let's go in for the taste test though. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. That's delicious. I should have toasted my bread. I forgot to do that, but. Rookie mistake. Yeah, rookie mistake is right, Lindsay. This is so good. Oh my. 
that is where we are going to end today's video. Um, you know, no better way to end a video than shoving some fish in your mouth. It's my personal favorite way to end videos. So again, if you guys want to try any of this stuff out, just definitely give it a go. And if you want to check out any of the Guggen Squad stuff, I'll leave it linked down below. The Saucy Swimmer catches it all. I got freaking crappies on it, guys. Crappies. And you've seen me and Sam do work in the spring with the walleye. So go check out any of that stuff. Use code MINDAC at checkout and you can save 15% off your order. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.